In this video, I'm going to go over how to use Engine with an external controller. So we'll look at the different configurations and I'll look at a, a few different scenarios um, that people have had on how to use the external controller in different ways. So to begin with, I'm going to initialize Engine to a factory reset. I've got three machines here. I've got a CV and gate controlled synthesizer, the Grenadier. Um, I've got a Korg Mini Log and a Roland TR8 drum machine. So I've got those three machines. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure them um, to talk on the correct MIDI channel. So for track one, I'm going to use that to control the CV gate synthesizer. So I'm going to go into function mode. I'm actually going to turn MIDI control off for this one because it's using the CV gate expansion board. Then I'm going to go to track two and set this up for the Korg Mini Log. So it's on MIDI output port two and it's on channel one. So we're two, one. And then for the TR8, I'm going to use track 5, and that is on uh, MIDI output port 1, but it's on channel 10, so I'll use channel 10. So now I've got those three tracks configured for those three machines. The first scenario I'm going to look at is just how do you uh, use a controller to control a machine, say you want to practice a performance before you go into record mode. So the first thing I want to look at is the configuration of the MIDI input. I'm going to go into global config mode, use step 10, the input channel which right now is set to TR, which means that the controller uh, MIDI channel needs to match the channel for the track that I'm controlling. I'm going to change that for convenience to Omni. So Omni means that it doesn't matter what channel you send from the MIDI controller. It's going to listen to any MIDI messages coming in on any channel. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show how you can uh, control one of these machines on various tracks. So I'll start with a CV gate track controlling the Grenadier. Uh, to do that, I can just go into rest mode and then use the controller to play the synthesizer. So rest mode just overrides the currently playing pattern in the sequencer and allows you to control things live. Um, so that's a good way to practice it. If you then want to jump immediately into record mode from rest mode, you can hold or double click the record button and it's going to start recording anything you play. And the same is true as if you want to jump directly into record mode, you can also play things and record them live from the MIDI controller. So for example, let's try that with the CV gate machine. And then if I go into rest mode, you'll hear that it mutes the playing sequence and I can again play live with the controller. I can jump out of rest mode and it goes back to the sequence. So the next thing we'll look at is how you can use Engine to do routing of the uh, controller to control different machines based on the track you have selected. So to do that, I'm going to go back into global config mode. I'm going to change my uh, settings. So I'm going to leave it in omni mode, but I'm going to look at the MIDI through setting. So right now MIDI through is turned off. I want to change that setting to uh, channelize the controller messages based on the currently selected track. So for that, I'm going to set MIDI through to TR. And now, depending on which track I have selected, it's going to take the MIDI input and re-channelize it uh, and control whichever machine is connected to that track. So for track one, we've got the CV gate machine. And you can hear, now I can play this without going into rest or record mode because we're using the MIDI through functionality. Now if I go to track two, which is the Korg mini log, it's going to re-channelize and control the mini log. And then the same thing is true on track 5 for the TR8. So. so now you can hear it's controlling the drum machine. So the next thing we want to look at is just merging the controller messages with the engine uh, MIDI data. So for that, I'm going to go back into global config mode and change the uh, MIDI through setting again. So we were on MIDI through setting TR, which channelizes the MIDI input. I'm going to change this now to just... Uh, Send to port 1 and port 2, which means that any MIDI data is going to come in uh, from the input is going to be sent back out to port 1 and port 2 unchanged. So it's not going to change the channel. It's going to uh, mirror the input. The only uh, note about that is for MIDI clock. So if engine is a MIDI clock master, it's going to filter out any clock messages that come into the input. And that's so that you don't get problems with having a multiple clock sources being sent to your devices. So now we set that to MIDI through port 1 and port 2, and now it's just going to output um, the controller uh, through the machine. So now, because we're sending on uh, MIDI channel 1 from our controller, it's 
coming in MIDI channel 1 and then it's being echoed right back out through port 1 and port 2 as MIDI channel 1 which is uh, the same channel that the Korg Mini Log has. And that's going to be merged with our sequence. So if I play our sequence, you can hear the sequence is playing as well as the MIDI data from the controller is being merged uh, to the output. So the last scenario I wanted to look at was using the engine CV board. We already saw this, but in terms of CV conversion, um, you can see when we're using the controller, if there is a CV uh, assignment for that particular track, that it's, it's going to output not only the MIDI data, but also the CV data. So let's go back into Global Config, look at our input channel. Um, we still on Omni. Let's look at our through setting. Let's set it back to TR. And now um, any data uh, that we send through is going to be uh, rechannelized according to the track we have selected. So you can hear it is controlling the uh, CV gate synthesizer because I'm using the CV gate outputs on track one and I have track one selected. If I switch that to track three, which has nothing assigned to it, you can hear that uh, there's no data being sent. And again, back to the mini log or dynamically changing. So those are a few different ways that you can route MIDI controllers through engine and control different devices.